So today's demonstration is about AutoDoc docking analysis. So uh, what you need is a docking output file. You should uh, go and check for .dlg file in your uh, docking folder. And then we'll try to save the coordinates for your best uh, pose generated by molecular docking. And then we will go and uh, analyze molecular interactions uh, using Discovery Studio and LigPlot software where you can analyze uh, hydrogen bond formations and 2d interactions so this is the docking folder and in output you will receive this file which is uh, a dlg file and uh, i have named it a doc dlg in here so you can simply go and click and open this file and this is how it looks and you should go uh, right towards the end uh, there are a lot of things uh, because this is a log file so uh, you can see uh, over here this is uh, the actual result here uh, where uh, there are several uh, poses which were obtained and with their binding energy so best pose is usually uh, defined by uh, lowest binding energy value and these poses in fact are ranked based on this binding energy value lowest to highest so if you want to extract this uh, this pose which is the best one in this case so what will you do uh, you can scroll down and see uh, this uh, confirmations uh, right here so uh, you'll see that model 5 uh, model 5 here is the best pose in our case so what we'll do is uh, I will uh, start selecting from here and uh, look for terminal and end model END MDL so you can just simply uh, select and copy this text uh, go to the folder and uh, just make a new text folder uh, name it as ligand open and paste and just save it so uh, you can see the extension is txt so i want to change it to pdb it will ask me click yes so now here is your uh, ligand file and i want to open this file uh, which is protein which was used for your docking so uh, i will just open it in discovery studio software go to the folder and just uh, drag this ligand file directly into this uh, window hierarchy window here you can see this model appears here all right so i will center this model and see and now you have this complex of protein and ligand so I want to go ahead and save this complex as uh, protein data bank files pdb uh, just I have already saved it so just save it as complex.pdb right well so here is your file complex.pdb so uh, it can be used for uh, leg plot analysis later uh, first we'll see molecular interactions using uh, discovery studio so uh, you should go to this receptor ligand interactions first and then look for show 2d diagram just click it so you'll find uh, this 2d image where several molecular interactions are uh, given and here is the panel which shows uh, what type of interactions are given in what colors so what we are interested in in uh, a conventional hydrogen bond which are given by dotted green lines so you can see that our molecule is uh, forming hydrogen bonds with serine glycine and histidine uh, residues and the residues are colored in uh, green color and uh, the other uh, residues which are in cyan color uh, they represent the van der Waal interactions uh, so in short all these residues they are forming the active site of this protein where your ligand is bound to in this protein so if you are interested in actual pose visualization 
uh, you can scroll through this window and see the amino acids down in this uh, panel here or uh, simply you can just go and select this image press shift along with click and select and activate this window here and expose these residues then bring this into center and you can see that uh, this is our ligand and these are the uh, uh, hydrogen bond forming residues so right now you are unable to see hydrogen bonds so I will go and select uh, this uh, ligand and go to structure monitor and hydrogen bonds so now you can see the hydrogen bond will hide the hydrogens for clarity and now you can see this is your ligand and these are the hydrogen bond forming residues for clearer vision uh, we can go to script visualization and publication quality and you can see there are changes in the color of protein and ligands so you can just go to this panel here protein visualization and change the representation to uh, line ribbon now you can see uh, very clearly now you need to label the amino acids uh, you can either select from this window here so i will take a shortcut and select the hydrogen bond forming residues right click and go to labels uh, right click and go to labels here add and say i will change the size color to red and apply sorry you need to go to labels add and make sure that you change it to amino acid uh, change the size and color apply and okay now if you see your amino acids are uh, actually labeled for more clarity I will go and select the protein and change the color to say this black and then choose a lighter version here so you can see that lip, uh, the protein is uh, seen in very light color go ahead and right click anywhere color by element to change the color of amino acid so you need to change uh, the color of labels again to red oh. I removed those labels and I'm selecting the residues only which are forming hydrogen bonds once again and let's right click labels add and red size and okay now you can see uh, the amino acids are labeled properly you can save this pose uh, and insert it into your practical files uh, so next is uh, molecular interactions using a leg plot so we know that uh, we can use a leg plot by uh, using pdb sum web server so go to search open pdb sum and you need to go to this generate if you you're you want a custom search so go ahead and choose file and uh, you remember we saved a complex dot pdb file earlier so choose this one and uh, just give any email uh, it will uh, go to your email remember the results will go to your email so just upload and it might take uh, several minutes five to ten minutes so i have already completed this step you need to open this link which is given uh, to your email by pdv sound and you'll be guided to this page here and make sure you go to ligands click ligands and scroll down and the interaction plot will be given to you in this uh, window here and just go to PDF version and here you can see the PDF version of 2d interactions 
so for your information uh, these circled uh, type of amino acids so they form uh, they form hydrophobic interactions with your ligand and you can see uh, your ligand is colored in purple here this one and the amino acids which are forming hydrogen bonds are colored in maroon and the hydrogen bonds are represented in green dotted lines and this is uh, these values are the distance between the acceptor and donor atoms for your hydrogen bonds so that's all for your autodoc uh, doking analysis